What if the marketplace demands that customer orders be fulfilled in days rather than weeks? What if your global competitors have a 4 to 1 cost advantage? That is the dilemma facing TE Connectivity in Worcester, Massachusetts. They manufacture premium high-speed cable for data centers around the world. To be competitive, they realized they had to radically shorten the manufacturing lead time from initial customer order to final delivery. They needed to become faster and needed to do it now. Their solution? A sequential pull system. With the pull system, we've become faster and leaner, which has really helped us have a competitive advantage. By being faster, we can get things to the customers in a shorter lead time and react faster to those spikes in demands and those quick customer turnarounds. By being leaner, we've been able to do all this while reducing our inventory, reducing our costs along the way. They began implementing the new approach with their new 28-gauge high-speed value stream, transforming the ineffective push system into a lean pull system. The challenges were many, but over the next few months, they successfully converted all high-speed cable products to the new process. The employee engagement has been great over the past uh, few months while we've been implementing this pull system. They've been involved in the Kaizen events and all the different projects that have been going on around this pull system. They've had great ideas coming forward. They've let us know when things don't work, how we can improve them. To understand what has been accomplished at the Worcester plant, let's take a closer look. The new sequential pull system divides the value stream into four loops. The first value stream loop begins in SAP, where new customer orders are converted into factory orders and sent to taping. The taping operation is the pacemaker of the value stream. Work teams are trained to be self-directed and visual cues are set up throughout the factory to facilitate fast and easy communication. Uh, we have very simple visual communications out on the plant floor, such as the red, yellow and green colors that we have out there to signify certain actions. When operators need primaries, they simply signal the material handler with Kanban cards. A fork truck then delivers supplies quickly to designated areas. What I like best about the new system is it saves me from running back and forth across the shop to get my work and bring it back. Once reels are completed in taping, they move to the first downstream FIFO lane at cabling via a water spider route. If this FIFO lane is full, operators shut down the taping pacemaker and begin the escalation process. The operator is then redeployed to another machine. This kind of self-directed decision-making is key to the success of the system and frees managers from their traditional roles as supervisors. I think that's the best part of it. I don't need a supervisor to tell me or direct me what I have to do. We do a lot of cross-training here to make sure that people can run other machines. So through cross-training, we've been able to run other lines that are needed to run while shutting down others that do not. The second value stream loop involves cabling, braiding, and jacketing. It is particularly important for operators to manage flow through this value stream. Cabling is the slowest operation and often creates bottlenecks. Work teams pay special attention to the incoming test results to ensure the bottleneck's time is not wasted. Operators are able to monitor the downstream braiding FIFO lane using a webcam for instant feedback. If space is available in the braiding FIFO lane, they continue to sequentially pull from the cabling FIFO lane. If the braiding FIFO lane is full, cabling is shut down and the escalation process begins. This approach continues through jacketing until the finished product is released to shipping for delivery to customers. You know, I don't think there's another competitor that, that can do what we're doing right now. If we have the raw material, I don't think there's anyone that can compete with us on lead time right now. The third value stream loop is the primary supermarket. All materials for the taping pacemaker are pulled from this upstream market. Inventory for the supermarket is controlled in accordance with the EPEI, every part, every interval. Here again, easily identifiable visual controls help operators manage inventory efficiently on their own. The system is much more efficient and it's faster because as soon as I come in, I know right away what job I have to do. Ergonomically friendly pallets are used to keep safety the number one priority. Statistical process control is also utilized to handle variables in demand and execution. 
The fourth and final value stream is a fixed interval milk run for raw materials every two days. The milk run is comprised of four major suppliers located within an hour of the plant. Materials are delivered from the warehouse to the factory floor when visual controls are triggered. Similar indicators in the warehouse trigger raw material orders to replenish goods. This process of receiving and delivering supplies only when needed has noticeably reduced inventory. We've had to do a lot more uh, interactions with our suppliers since we turned on the milk run. Since we're running at a faster cadence and reduce our inventory, any issues that come up really come up very quickly and they've been great with replenishing our stock and our inventory and reacting to when we have demand spikes very quickly. The success of Worcester's innovative sequential pull system has been dramatic. Inventory costs are down by one million dollars and delivery is up. Customers' lead times have been slashed from four to eight weeks to five to ten days. In most cases, it's been shocking off from the customers uh, with this new pull system we have implemented. They're very, very happy with the fact that we can deliver cable quicker um, and that allows them to plan better. The employees have been the critical factor in the value stream transformation. Through training, hard work, and a willingness to change, they are transforming the Worcester plant into a lean, fast, and efficient enterprise. Morale here is excellent. Now, when I come in, I realize the value that I have to the company and how versatile I am because when my supermarket is full, I may be able to move me to other areas where I can help the company and it gives me a sense of belonging and making me much more valuable to the company. We're working with the right customers, we're working with the, the right OEMs, and we have a, a tremendous engineering staff here that's working at the high level with new product development. All this is all positive stuff which is going to bring us to the next generation of cable and increased sales. While the accomplishments are impressive, they are only the beginning. Improvements are already in development to further slash lead time, create new products, and increase future competitiveness.